Hello and welcome to Vermont Craft Tours. I'm Sarah Scully. Today I wanted to share with you three designs um, of my own creation and ask for some feedback. So um, I am not a full-time knitwear designer. <laughs> I'm not even really a part-time knitwear designer because I haven't um, released any patterns for sale yet. But I do occasionally like to design things. Um, sometimes it's to showcase a yarn from the wool that we raise on our farm. And sometimes it's just because I get frustrated and I can't find exactly what I'm looking for on Ravelry. I can't find a pattern that's close to what I have in mind for a specific project. And so I ended up um, designing something on my own. Um, and that was the case for this poncho that I uh, am wearing today. Um, it's a little hard with the backlight um, to see the, the pattern, but um, I had Rick take some pictures of me wearing it. And this project I did maybe two years ago, um, once uh, kind of the poncho um, craze was, was really uh, hitting hard and I started to see a lot of ponchos in yarn catalogs and all over Ravelry. Um, but I didn't see one that was sort of a classic um, reversible poncho that I that I wanted and so I decided to um, just make a pattern on my own um, and it's a pretty simple pattern it's uh, just two simple uh, knit pearl textures and you make two long rectangles and then you sew the rectangles together and voila there's your poncho um, I like it because I think it's um, even though it's just one size, I think it's pretty flattering on a lot of different body shapes. It's fairly oversized, so if you're petite, it's more blankety. And if you are um, larger in stature, uh, if you're taller, then it will still come down and kind of cover your midsection. Um, but it just won't be quite so long. Um, I'm 5'5 five five in the picture, so you can see um, it's pretty long on me but it's nice and cozy. Um, you can just throw it over a shirt and head out the door. Often I'll, I'll use it instead of a jacket if it's mild out. Um, and I get a ton of compliments. Now this poncho is knit with Harrisville Designs yarn and um, they dye their wool in the, in the, they dye their yarns in the wool. So they don't dye the yarn afterwards, they dye, um, cleaned carded fiber and then blend that dyed fiber to make their yarn to spin their yarns and that cert certainly gives a depth of color that you can't achieve by over dyeing finished yarn um, so i think maybe one of the reasons i get a lot of compliments is just that intense depth of shade and um you know this looks sort of dark green or dark teal probably on camera but if i look at it up close it's got light blue, light green, purple, um, all kinds of different rich shades in it. So, um, so that's probably one of the reasons it is very nice yarn. Um, but also it's, it's flattering. I think the, the, the diagonal um, accents, again, really work with a lot of different body types. And I'd love to release the pattern if there was interest. So um, that one's probably 95% done. I have all the instructions written up. Um, I would just have to get some some good photos and you know put it up on Ravelry. Um, another pattern that I did a couple of years ago is for something that I called the crimped hat, and that was um, really to show off a particular yarn. Unfortunately, we ran out of the yarn. It was a one-time thing, um, so I might have to re-knit that in another yarn. But it's a simple DK weight, um, gender neutral hat. And again, it has a simple knit pearl pattern on it. Um, I got it out of a stitch dictionary. I was just looking around for something that was a little bit more than just a plain stockinette cap. And so I came up with this um, pattern and it's kind of one of those slouchy toque types of hats, um, pretty quick knit. Um, but I still think it's, you know, it's, it's in that mode of kind of your classic ski wear. And, you know, I think it could be popular, but again, I would love to know if you'd be interested in knitting your own version of this hat. Um, and then the third one is actually in progress. It's a design that I was inspired to do. 
Um, well, first I was I was inspired by this beautiful yarn that I have. This is from Tidal Yarns. Um, she's another Vermont maker. Uh, she again, uh, Patricia is her name, Patricia Frinsky, and she um, gets local fleeces and takes them to a local mill and works with them to design her yarns. And then she hand dyes them all with natural uh, plant extracts and things. So she gets these beautiful sort of medium pastel kind of muted tones. Um, and I just, I love working with the yarn. It's nice and bouncy and squishy. Um, so I actually had another hat pattern all picked out for this. Um, for a friend of ours, and then Rick goes, oh, actually, our friend's really into spoon carving, so you should do a hat with spoons. And I went, you're right. <laughs> I was a little annoyed because I had a plan, um, but uh, he's absolutely right. And so I looked on Ravelry and again didn't find a hat with spoons on it or any kind of spoon pattern that I thought I could you know, buy the pattern and adapt. Um, to a hat, so got out the trusty graph paper, and I've been doing a lot of math, and have I think settled on a final chart for this. Um, so we'll see what the sample works up to. Um, a, a great substitute. Um, Pat Patricia does not sell online, so um, for this worsted weight yarn, a, a great substitute for this is going to be the Quince and Company Owl. Um, which are a lovely yarn, and it's 50% wool, 50% alpaca, um, so it's, it'll be nice and soft to wear, um, and, it, and it has this kind of over-dyed um, modeled effect uh, in, their, in their color ranges, and it comes in more colors. So I was thinking that would be a nice yarn substitute. I might knit two of these, one for my friend and, and one for a model for this hat. Um, but anyway, if you are interested in a hat with spoons in it, um, let me know. Um, I'll post finished pictures uh, to my Ravelry page when I'm finished knitting in a few days. And yeah, I would love to get your feedback um, if any of these projects are interesting to you. I'd also like to know if you like to um, design your own patterns, whether you're professional or whether you're like me, where you like to adapt patterns, make changes, um, or develop things when you can't find exactly what you're looking for. Uh, let me know and yeah, send me a link to anything that you've you've designed. I would love to see it. So I also want to mention that if you're interested in either knitting design or uh, natural dyeing, that our spring fiber tour will feature both of those activities. You'll be able to get your hands on some yarn and dye it. And you'll also be able to work with Amy Christophers, who's a professional designer and she will lead you through a color work design workshop where you're going to be designing your own mitts with her help. And if that sounds intimidating, um, I promise you Amy's a really good instructor and she will help guide you um, and help you pick out your colors and make a design that will really look interesting and, and be fun to knit. So um, I'll put the link to our May workshop, our May tours online and you can check that out. Thanks again for joining me, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Cheers!